What's going on guys? Welcome back to another scooter video. Today we're heading up to Mike's Bike Park to go film a promo video for our upcoming scooter camps coming this summer. I'll see you guys there. Pull up to Mike's bike park. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scooter out of my car and I'm gonna film a little bit out here because for today's video, I'm gonna be filming a promo video for Mike's bike park. As I said in the intro, well, it's actually really loud here. I might have to go inside and tell you guys more about the summer camps. <laughs> All right, we just made our way in. Ooh, this phone everywhere. Anyways, we just made our way into Mike's Bike Park. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my pads, get warmed up, and I'm also gonna throw my GoPro on and give you guys a quick tour of what's all around this entire skate park. Also, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be eyeing up some spots to get some like cool clips for this little promo edit that I'm gonna be airing on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you guys should go follow me on Instagram. It's at chase.ross, I'll have it right here on the screen. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the GoPro clips now and I'll just show you guys around the whole entire park. We're gonna go ahead and start the quick tour of the skate park off up here on top of the foam pit rolling just because this ramp right here is one of the favorite ramps for all of us campers to ride during the summer camps because it's just so fun to jump into the foam pit without getting hurt and being able to send some really cool tricks. So the first trick of the day is gonna be a backflip into the foam pit. Then we'll move on to the rest of the park and I'll show you guys all the goods. Yeah. All right. Onto the next ramp now. Right behind the foam pit, which is right over there, we're moving on to my favorite section, which is kind of like the rhythm uh, park section of the entire park. There's a spine, there's a vert wall, there's some other ramps in between. We got a little bit of some leaks today, so we're gonna avoid that area. But for right now, we're gonna focus on the spine because this is one of my favorite ramps in the whole entire park. It just has such a good flow around. It's just so much fun to ride. Now we're moving our way into the pump track section of the skate park where we basically have a bunch of ramps that you can pump around. And then they got these two little fun boxes right here where we can just like link back to back tricks. And then we're pushing past the pump track section. We're going back to the back park back here where there's like an entire another section of the park. During camp, it's really fun to go pumping through these sections right here. And then there's also like a perfect little mini section in here for all the beginner riders to get all their tricks down, drop-ins, and all the goods. But let me tour you guys through this real quick. Alright, now we're gonna follow this section back to here where you can follow the arrow through us throughout the entire skate park. It makes it pretty fun. And we're back. And now we're back to the front of the park where there's these purple ramps that are really fun. That's a great little hip right there to hit. And then we're right back up to the foam pit where we started. That right there is the entire second level. I know we started on the second level, so let's go ahead and go down to the first level and show you guys what's down there. Phew. This right here is one of the craziest drawings because you have no clue what you're actually diving into when you go down this ramp. So when you go down this ramp, basically you're just gonna hit massive speed and then you're gonna hit this like curved wall right thing right when you get to the bottom. It's a little intimidating, especially for the new campers to ride when they get here and they you know, are here during the summer camps, but we walk it through it real nice and easy. And sometimes this drop in right here is an accomplishment in its own to hit. So let's go down this and show you guys the bottom park. That right there is the entire outer section. We started up there on that rolling and we went all around the entire outside of the park. Now you get to link it into this green room over here. This park's really fun because basically the whole entire park is linkable. You can start in one place and end up in a completely different place and you just have a blast the entire time. But let's go ahead and hit this green room right here and then I'll link this through, through the actual middle part of this downstairs. You 
You might think we're done, but not yet. There's still another pump track within the pump track within the pump track. This thing's super fun. Yeah, but. Whew. And that right there is pretty much an entire tour of my spike park. Now that I've shown you guys all the ins and outs with all the ramps, basically we had the park to ourselves today, which is really cool because we were able to pump through the entire park with ease. But now let's go ahead and start getting some clips for this actual promo video. This promo video, like I said before, is for the Mike's Bike Park Scooter Summer Camps. They will be happening on June 22nd, June 23rd, and June 24th. During the camps, we're gonna be going over the core fundamentals to scootering to help you scooter better and work on those tricks that you guys have been working on for quite a while. Maybe we'll be able to knock them out during the summer camps. As well, during the summer camps, we're gonna be working on Influence, which basically means how you interact with social media. So we're going to be showing you guys how I personally post on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, all the goods that help promote me as a scooter rider so you guys can excel in your scootering career. As well, we're going to be talking just about character and all kinds of things just to help you on and off your scooter. Oh, also, I almost forgot. We have a second scooter camp happening in July. I'll have the dates posted right here and also down in the description. As well, I'll have all the links to Mike's Bike Park so you guys can go to mikesbikepark.com and check out the scooter camps for yourself and and maybe I'll see you here. But anyways, let's go ahead and grab my camera over there and start eyeing up these promo clips. On this first shot, I'm planning to do a hand plant on that vert wall over there. I got the camera positioned right here, basically to where it sees just the hand plant. The goal of this is to get like a nice cinematic shot to where I can just kind of have like me overlaid in the background while I'm like saying the specifications on when the summer camps are gonna be happening. So this first shot, going for a hand plant on that vert wall. We're gonna try to get as much extension on this thing as we can. All right, this next trick I have in mind, I want to hand plant the spine. I'm going to try going both ways to see which angle looks better on the camera. So starting out, we're going to go that way with it. Let's see how that looks. All right, on this next shot, I'm getting a nice little cinematic view of me pumping through the pump track. I'm also going to link in some tricks in between each one. Shot number, I don't know how many, but right now I'm gonna get a shot where I do a flip tuck into the foam pit, and then I'm gonna go through a flip tuck on the box over there just to show there's an ability for progression. You can take it to the foam pit and then go straight to the box. To the box now. This one's gonna be a fun one. All right, let's flip it. Next one, before I get the clip, I want to show you guys what I'm working with. Right here is a quarter pipe, and over there is a bank. I want a gap between this quarter to that bank, but I want to do a buttercup in between it. The only problem with that is the ceiling is a little low, and there's a pole literally right there, so I can't. Oh, and also there's a pole on that side. So I have to be really, really precise with how this buttercup goes because if I come off the lip wrong, well, first off, I'm going to either hit the pole, this wood, the ceiling, or the box or the pole. So. This one's gonna be a tight one, but I feel like we should be able to get it. So fingers crossed, we can make it first try. I'm kind of wondering if buttercup is actually the trick of choice that I want to do over this because this is uh, it's odd to do a buttercup straight on, especially when you're like dodging a ramp that way, going straight. So gosh, I just don't want to get uppercutted by the bars when I come out of that ramp. Nope, nope, nope. We're abandoning that trick because I cannot get over that ramp without hitting the buttercup. There's just too many obstacles. Let's just throw something else over top of this. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, who took the pole out? Barely dodged that. Let's run that back and see if we can get around this now. I gotta go a little more this way, which means the front scooter has to come off a little bit more wonky. Whoa, that was cool. That was hard to 
because we're riding this park Han Solo today, that means I gotta do it twice. So that means I gotta set up a second angle over here and get from the opposite point of view so the video can have a nice transition between ramp to ramp. I just gotta make sure I was in frame now. It's the worst thing ever when you go back and watch the clip and it's like, oh goodness, I cut myself out. Actually, if you guys ever have a problem with that, you guys can watch my one video where I teach you guys how to film yourself while being by yourself at the skate park. You guys can just have a tripod just like this and I teach you how to crop it and like make it look like there's a robot literally tracking you. That video will be linked in the upper right hand corner. But anyways, let's make sure this clip is good to go. Oh, perfectly in frame. Dodge that pole, you saw me maneuver a little bit. Sweet. Today's going solid. We already got like a bunch of really, really, really solid uh, tricks. I got one or two more in mind that I want to do. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get those. And then after that, I'll go ahead and overlay the promo video that you guys are going to get to see on YouTube right here. And also on my Instagram page that will be showing off the Mike's Bike Park for the summer camps. Again, if you guys want to sign up for the summer camps, the link will be down in the description. You guys can check out mikesbikepark.com and you guys can go sign up for the future summer camps right there. I haven't really rode much over in this section yet. So let's get a couple clips over here. section earlier that I was talking about that's like super tiny but it's perfect for new riders to flow and pump around so let's get a little run in here and then we'll hit this outside loop I gotta do a flip That was cool. All right, now to the outside loop. Nosey. Let's go ahead and hit the downstairs section because I don't really think I fit that much in today's video yet. All right, down we go. Alright, let's go back to this wall right over here, see what we can do here. On this next one, I'm eyeing this quarter pipe up here, and it's kind of a dope shot between the wall right here and this curvature of the ramp. So, I really want to do a 540 flare. I've never done a 540 flare at this park before, just because it still has a little low, but I feel like I can do it low enough here to be able to get it on that quarter pipe right there. So I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna try to do a flare on it one more time. Make sure I can get low enough just to make sure I don't hit the pipe up there. Get this, I think it'll be the banger of the video. I'm not gonna lie, that one got my heart absolutely pumping. I was really afraid I was gonna hit that pole up there, but I kept it really tight and really low to the quarter pipe and I got it around first try. I'm absolutely pumped. That's pretty much the last trick I wanted to get in today's edit for the promo video. I might get a couple B-roll shots here and there as I see them fit, but man, I'm getting really excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the promo video right now. turned out absolutely amazing and I just oh man Max is just always such a blast every time I come here I always learn something new or like get a new little maneuver that just really feels like a good time but I could not be more excited for these summer camps about to go down if you guys want to sign up like I said many many times in this video you guys can go down in the description <laughs> and hit that link that goes to mikesbikepark.com and you guys can fill out and sign up at mikesbikepark.com and uh, there's only going to be 15 spots available, so if you guys want to be one of the 15, you better, better sign up quick because they're going to book up quick. But man, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, let's see, anything else I want to say before we wrap things up? Oh, of course, 
You guys know all the Rapture Pro scooter parts are gonna be at Mike's Bike Park. So if you guys come to the scooter camp and your scooter's a little janky or need some fixing up, I'll be there. I'll be ready to fix up your guys' scooters and as well, all the Rapture parts will be fully stocked at Mike's Bike Park. So you guys know you're gonna get some quality parts if you guys come here and your scooter like happens to like break down or something like that. We can fix it up mid-go. But anyways, we're gonna wrap the video up right there. I'll see you guys at the summer camp later.